girlies, this is Allison, and I know I've not made a video in ages, but I'm very busy with school, and I know it's not an excuse, but I'm a junior at my university, and it's like crunch time for me. So, I've been doing that, and I had subscribers, like, comment, saying I miss your videos, send me pers personal messages and stuff, and I don't know, like, I enjoyed it, it was fun, but, like, I don't know. I kind of fell out of lacking and making them. I felt like it was like a chore. I'm not saying that like I don't enjoy commenting back and stuff. It's just been like, I don't know, a lot was going on. So, I feel like I need to sneeze. Oh my god. I hate when that happens. Anyway, so hey023, I think that's her username. She commented on my channel and was like, girl, you need to start making videos. So, I don't know, I feel like that lit the spark in me. Like, oh my gosh, she like likes watching my videos and stuff. And... I don't know. I just decided to just turn my camera on. This is incredibly awkward for me. I'm not used to doing this anymore. So please excuse the awkwardness. Just please excuse it because I know it's going to be awkward. So I'm going to do my August favorites and hopefully run through this because I do like to ramble. I have a couple of random ass products, but we're just going to get started. So first thing is foundation. And a lot of people don't like this foundation. I don't know why. It's probably just because of the texture of it, but I really like it. It's the Neutrogena Shine Control Makeup. Everyone says this feels like dirt on your face, but maybe I like dirt on my face. I don't know. But it's in 70 Fresh Beige, and I don't know if you can see that. But I really like it. The only thing that really sucks nuggets is that it doesn't have a pump, so I like put it on. Like, I'll go like that, and... I have like an internal bruise because you have to like pound it on your hand to get it out. I don't know. I went to the mall today and I wanted to try the Kat Von D foundation. That stuff, look, it was so cakey on my hand. It just felt like a mask. So I was like, no BNO. I'm not getting that. So I didn't. The next thing is this Smashbox concealer stick. It's camera ready concealer in five. And this looks like this, just a concealer stick. I have it on now. I just picked this up, like, a couple weeks ago. But I really like it. It's 20 bucks. It's not that expensive for a concealer. I like the packaging and everything. It's not that sanitary. So what I do is I'll just use my finger, and I'll just put it on where I need it. And I really like this. It's full coverage and oil-free, and it has good ingredients in it, and the lady was really nice. So I like it. The next thing is my Laura Geller Makeup matte maker invisible oil blotting powder and I use this when I'm at college and it's just like a clear powder as you can see it's like the makeup forever but in a pressed form and I like carrying this around in my bag a lot more and it has a built-in mirror and I just use kabuki brush and I'll blot and then I'll use this and I really like it and it's, it's expensive it's like $34 but I really like it it does the job and it doesn't make you look cakey and then for eyeshadow I have two eyeshadow things that I've been liking. The first thing is this MAC, and it was from their winter collection, and it's Morning Frost, and it's just like this nice silvery color, I guess. It's a paint pot. I'm sure you can find like a dupe to this, I don't know. I put that down as a base first, and then I used the Too Faced Naked Eye Palette, and I've been loving satin. I'm loving satin sheets. It's like a pink with gold undertone. And then I've been liking Pillow Talk and Like a Virgin on the outer half. And then Lap Dance. Ugh. Lap Dance and like, I don't know. I have it on my eyes right now. I don't know if that just helped or just confused you all. But I really like this. And I like how there's like this matte color. It's really pretty. Matte color as the highlight. And it's called In the Buff. And it reminds me of my Stila, Stila palette. Um, the white color. And then I've been using this one, the Lorac Superstar palette. I've had this since like forever ago and I've made so many dents in it, but it's still my favorite. So that's all like makeup. That was pretty fast. I'm very proud of myself. For lip product, it's this EOS lip balm. I use the crap out of this thing. I just like it. It's easy. And people stare at me when I use this because it's like Everyone uses their Burt's Bees up here, and I'm like, nope, I'm going to be different and go against the grain. I use EOS. And then the next thing, as you can tell, I've used this to a core. You can tell when you're back at college is when you use the hell out of your hand sanitizer because people are gross, don't wash their hands, itch themselves, and go touch a computer. It is so gross. It feels like you're at the zoo. No freaking joke. At my university, it is so nasty. 
people, no wonder everyone gets sick because, I don't know. So I like the warm vanilla sugar. Oh, I just went to Bath and Body Works today and I just stocked up on candles. So I really like that one and I'm like all on. The next thing is this Country Chic Triple Moisture Body Cream. And I really like this. I've used a lot of it. I like this bring this to class because it's small and tiny and cute. And yeah, it smells like when we were in England over Christmas time. Me and my boyfriend when we were over there. I just got some on my nose. Oh, it just smells like his man and granddad's cottage. I just really like it. And for perfume, is this Paris Hilton perfume. I've had this since I was 15. No joke. So like almost six years now. I just love the smell. It's just like sugary. I don't know. I just really like it. I can't explain it. It's just like warm. It just feels warm and cozy. And then next thing for college are two things. One I'm obsessed with. It's my baby, and everyone knows, like, everyone at my school knows this is my baby. And it's the Lily Pulitzer Agenda. Like, look how cute these prints are. That was weird, like, ugh. Anyway, so it just comes like this. This is a Vera Bradley clip, but I'm very organized. So, I just, it just looks like that. And then September is my birthday month. Um, September 27th, I turn 21. And I just think it's appropriate that the September has a martini glass, because that, duh. So, I really like that. And it has quotes, like, cheer, cheers to never saying goodbye to summer. And, like, each one has, like, different, has different ones. And then, like, a full, like, a full calendar. And then it has stickers and stuff. I'm just obsessed with this. I love it. And this is the... Azalea Pink May Flowers one. And this is the large agenda because I write like a beast. I write so big on my things. Like on the agenda. And then the last thing is this um, post-it notes. They're just from Target and they have little shoes on them. I think they're so cute. I don't know. I just like everything to be cute. Everyone stares at me in the library when I'm by myself and I'm like studying and stuff because everything's like colorful and I just feel like if you have color and you'll be happy and you won't be like, oh, school, I'm in the library because you would like to use all your colorful things. I don't know. I have rose glasses on and I love to keep it that way. So I hope you guys enjoyed my August favorites. If you have any requests, please comment below. I'll love to hear from you guys and everything and I will see you in my next video. Bye, girlies.